Claude Shannon, the quiet genius from Petoskey, Michigan, changed the world, not with bombs or politics, but with bits. Born in 1916, Shannon grew up tinkering with radios and gadgets, obsessed with puzzles and logic. He studied electrical engineering and mathematics at the University of Michigan before earning his master's degree at MIT. There, while working on Vannevar Bush's differential analyzer, he had an epiphany. He realized that Boolean algebra could be used to simplify and design electrical circuits. This idea, laid out in his 1937 master's thesis, was called the most important master's thesis of the 20th century. It laid the groundwork for digital circuit design, helping launch the entire field of digital computing. But Shannon wasn't finished. In 1948, at Bell Labs, he published A Mathematical Theory of Communication, a paper that did for information what Newton did for motion. With abstract elegance, Shannon reimagined communication not as words or meaning, but as quantifiable units, bits. He showed how any message, text, voice, image, could be encoded, transmitted, and decoded reliably over noisy channels. His theory defined key concepts like redundancy, entropy, and channel capacity, creating the intellectual foundation for everything from the internet to smartphones, MP3s to zip files. Yet Shannon remained resolutely quirky and humble. At Bell Labs, while revolutionizing science, he rode unicycles through the halls and juggled in his spare time. He built machines that solved Rubik's Cubes and one that perpetually tipped a burning cigarette back and forth. He once constructed a mechanical mouse, Theseus, that could learn its way through a maze, a prophetic hint at artificial intelligence. Despite his achievements, Shannon never sought the limelight. He turned down many offers, preferring the company of puzzles, games and chessboards. He believed in the joy of thinking, in theory for theory's sake, and avoided bureaucracy and academic grandstanding. His work quietly undergirded the rise of the digital age. Claude Shannon passed away in 2001, his contributions largely invisible, but utterly essential. Every email sent, every video streamed, every encrypted message owes a silent debt to him. In a world obsessed with data, he was the first to show how to count it, compress it, transmit it, and even, in a sense, understand it. As the mathematician and friend Edward Thorpe once said, Shannon is the only man I know who could juggle four balls, ride a unicycle, and prove a theorem at the same time.